All the eyes of the world are on Secretary of State Hillary Clinton tonight in Beijing, long a champion of human rights. She faces a very tough choice. A blind man, that activist hero who made the daring escape, slipping past Chinese guards under cover of night, is now asking her to take him to the United States on her plane, a move that would have dramatic repercussions in China. So what will she do? Here's ABC's Martha Raddatz. Martha. Diane, the day is just beginning in China, but Secretary Clinton has said nothing about the crisis since Chen Guangchen changed his mind about remaining in China to fight for reform, instead now begging Clinton to help him leave. Chen Guangchen has now become a symbol of human rights abuses in China and an online blog sensation. The trademark dark glasses, now donned by thousands, sending in portrait after portrait in solidarity. Chen was reunited yesterday with his wife and children in a Chinese hospital where he is being treated for injuries suffered during his dramatic nighttime escape and years of abuse. Today he is being kept away from U.S. diplomats, but he has been reaching out to supporters in the U.S. by phone. His heart sounds very heavy. Uh, voice is, was low, and he said, uh, he, he, he said, please help, uh, and uh, we're really, um, you know, in danger. When he agreed to leave the U.S. Embassy yesterday and go to the Chinese hospital, he did not know, nor did U.S. officials, that his wife had apparently been beaten while he was at the embassy. The interrog interrogator told her very, very clearly that uh, if your husband did not walk out of a U.S. Uh, embassy, we will kill you. Today, from his hospital bed, Chen called a U.S. congressional committee, saying he wants urgently to meet with Hillary Clinton. But Clinton, in China for security and economic talks, said nothing specific about Chen today. American ambassador to China, Gary Locke, did tell ABC News today that the U.S. wants to sit down with Chen and his wife. And really find out what it is that they want to do and uh, explore the options. But should the U.S. have handed Chen over to the Chinese in the first place? And can they now figure out a way to get him to safety? Martha Raddatz, ABC News, Washington.